Y'all, guess what, man? I'm in. <clears throat> Hold up. I'm so excited. I'm trying to contain myself right now. I have a testimony. I want to share this. I have a testimony. I'm. I just finished my last stop. I'm here in paradise. Um, DC paradise. I was. Um, I finished my delivery. <clears throat> Soon as I'm about to uh, close out my truck, a guy standing in the parking lot was like, "Hey, bro." I was like, "Yeah." He's like. You don't remember me? And I, I started leaping with joy because I, I instantly I remembered him. This is the brother who was it two weeks ago or three weeks ago? I delivered here and I seen him walking out of his apartment complex with a rifle in his hand, bloody tank top. He walked to his truck and had a little kid with him. He just now told me it was his godson. He was getting in the truck. I he, he was contemplating. He was talking to his other brother was with him. And he was standing by the truck like, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go. His brother was pacing around angry. That's the closest I've ever been to another man with a gun in their hand. Not knowing what's going on. For a split second. I had a little bit of fear, but then it went away. And so me just standing there, looking at him standing by his truck and his little kid getting in the truck with him, he got the gun in his hand. I inched a little bit closer and I said, um, dang, what happened? You know, his brother that's pacing back and forth, angry said, man, you know, I'm tired of this, I'm tired of this, you know. They just jumped my brother, they're going like, you know, embarrass him like that, you know, da da da. You know. I tried to talk to him but he wasn't he wasn't hearing it. So I direct my attention back to the brother who was at the truck with the gun in his hand about to get in the truck. Waiting for his other his his other brother to get in the truck. And so I was telling him, Hey bro, I know right now like you your feelings and your emotions, right now you upset, you angry, you know whoever what they did they jumped you whatever you know and probably made you feel less than a man but right now i just want to, like let you know that you're not able to think clearly right now right now you're alive you don't know what's going to happen when you get back on that road right and i was just trying to speak some wisdom to him eventually i was trying to share some truth with him now he kind of you know, like, man, he kind of brushed it off a bit. Was like, man, I ain't trying to really hear that right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And his, um, so he hop in the truck, right? He go ahead and hop in the truck and he start to pull off. His other, his brother walking around, down there around the corner. I didn't even leave where I was at, right? There. I just started praying. I just started praying. I called Brother Daryl up, told the Brother Daryl the situation. Brother Daryl started praying. We we started praying for for um over them. We started praying that God would 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 hide them, would stop the vehicle, would they would have a change of heart, a change of mind, all of this. That was maybe two or three weeks ago. Ever since then, every time I deliver here in this apartment complex, I would look for his truck, see if I see his truck, see if he made it back. I never seen his truck today. He was standing by the truck and was like, hey, bro, can I talk to you for a sec? He called me over. I'm talking to him. I'm leaping with joy. I'm like, bro, you here. You made it, bro. You still here. What happened? He told me, he said, man, I apologize to you, bro. He said, um, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I, you know, I was real emotional. I didn't really want to hear what you had to say, but when I got in the truck, he said, um, I got in the truck, started going down the street, and he said, he was talking to his brother, eventually his brother got in the truck with him, he said, he had a change of mind, he said, he talked to his brother, he said, you know what, man, we're not going to let Satan, like, like,
take us backwards, man. I said, you said that? He said, yeah, man, I told him, man, you know, we ain't gonna let Satan, like, start to, like, take us back to how we used to be. And so, he said these words. He said, I told my brother, man, we gonna let it go. He said, we gonna let it go. I started running. I started running in the parking lot. I started running in the parking lot. Oh God, oh God. And here I thought me trying to share some truth, wisdom and encouragement to somebody with a gun in their hand would have been seed falling by the wayside. And I still prayed. And he even remembered the words that I spoke to him. Here's what else he said. He said this. He said, he said, you know what? After you said what you said, when I got in the truck, I'm not making this up, man. That's what he said, bro. He said, when I got in the truck, it was like, I don't know what it was, but I just started crying. He said he started crying, bro. Because I, the righteousness in Christ Jesus, decided to stand before him I brought God before him and the words which are not my words which are God's words still touch them bro still touch them bro I'm not relying on my own strength but it's by his spirit it's by his spirit that the increase comes so I'm gonna pray regardless bro This brother is still alive here today, bro. What would have happened if I was to witness that and say nothing? Not stand for God. What was what would have happened if I have not known who I am and whose I am and know that I'm a son of God, I'm a child of God, that I am a royal priesthood, a holy nation, bro? I know exactly who I am. This man is alive today, bro. I got his number. I dad him up, man. I was about to hold him back tears before him, man. I'm going to tap in with him. I asked him, do he believe in Jesus Christ? And so I told him who Jesus is. <sighs> Let's go, man. Let's go.